Welcome back. This is tutorial movie number three, Contingency Planning. I assume that you have already done tutorial movie number two, Assess, Plan and Order. If you haven't done so already, launch the game and load the save game from the previous movie. tutorial at start with orders. You know from the briefing that the enemy is going to defend the approaches to Zenvith. He currently defends and controls this choke point at the Steinbrook crossing and has overwatch from Lomasvila. One enemy option would be to reinforce the Steinbrook crossing from forces at Lomasvila. The trigger event for this would be seeing enemy units moving down the road here towards Steinbrook from Lomasvila. So how would you respond? Until you have the crossing at Steinbrook, you cannot block this move directly. You could interdict it from fires from your artillery or from direct fire units located on the south bank. Artillery ammo is limited. Click on the 22nd Field Artillery Battalion and if you haven't already done so click on the ENS tab and have a look down here at its HE artillery. Note it has just under 1800 rounds. It has 18 guns or tubes so that's around 100 rounds per gun. At normal rate of fire of two rounds per minute, that gives you just on 50 minutes of fire and that has to last you the whole day. You really should preserve these for bombarding enemy defensive positions and breaking up enemy counterattacks. But if push comes to shove, they will serve. So it's probably best to respond to this development using direct fire units, these could be deployed on the forward edge of this hill which dominates the south bank. But they would need long range weapons to interdict the enemy units coming from Lomasvila. Set the range rings to all. Select B Battery 489th Automatic Weapons Battalion. This unit is mounted in half tracks. These are lightly armoured and provide protection against indirect fire. It mounts 50 cal and 37 millimeter automatic weapons and they have a very handy effective and max range out to about 2000 meters. These would serve nicely. However, they do lack an effective anti-armour capability. For this, I recommend either A or B Company from the 35th Tank Battalion. Click on B Company. Note, it has a very effective anti-personnel firepower range. Its effective anti-armour range is only 500 metres but its max is out to 3000 so it could harass enemy armour on the far bank. It is also the most heavily armoured unit you have and best able to occupy the exposed hill. For now turn off the range rings To summarise, the trigger would be the enemy units moving from Lomasvila towards Steinbrook. Your reaction would be to order B Company and B Battery to defend the forward edge of the hill that dominates the south bank. But how long would it take them to get there? Select the quickest path tool for the unit 
and click on the forward edge of the hill. Note the duration is around 15-16 minutes. If we add another 10-15 to 15 minutes or so for the orders delay, the total reaction time will be around 30 minutes. It will probably take the enemy less time to move from Lomasvila to Steinbrook. So what? So you can't afford to wait for the trigger before reacting. You need to have your reaction force in place before the trigger. However, the enemy front line troops will give your guys a hot reception. So the best bet is to try and time their arrival on the hill just after the 51st Armoured Infantry Battalion has assaulted and cleared the enemy from the forward edge. You can do this by issuing a defend order and setting the start time manually. So how do you know what time to set for the start? You can coordinate the times with the attacking battalions, 51st and the 1st 318th, but we'll leave that for another time. For now, I recommend that you start the game running without issuing the defend orders to B Company and B Battery. We'll look at doing so after the AI has worked out its plan and timings. Don't worry, we'll cover this in the next tutorial movie. Another reason for not issuing that order now is that there is another likely enemy reaction and this may require a different response from you. If your initial attacks are very successful, the enemy front line units may break and rout back across the river. The trigger would be seeing all the enemy units here routing back across the crossing. You can check their route status by hitting F2. At the moment these show a green arrow which means they're OK. If that was a red arrow that means they'd be routing. And if it was a red square that means they'd be cowering in place. Routing units put up virtually no resistance. So you could take advantage of this by bringing forward phase two of your plan and launching an immediate attack from Steinbrook towards Lomasvila with a 35th tank battalion. Now, both triggers may occur, i.e. the enemy may reinforce Steinbrook and their front line may collapse and route back across the crossing. In which case, you may decide to split the 35th Tank Battalion, committing B Company and B Battery to the defend on the hill, and committing the rest of the battalion to the attack on Lomasvila. Or, you may decide just to commit B Battery to the defence of the hill, and use the whole 35th Tank Battalion for your attack on Lomasvila. So it's a good idea to consider the likely enemy reactions to your plan. Identify their triggers and consider your response options. Because of orders delay, you're best to have this worked out in advance. Then you can monitor the battle as it unfolds and respond immediately a trigger occurs. Feel free to review your orders, consider other enemy reactions and your responses to them. And when you're ready, start up tutorial movie 4 reviewing the AI plan. See you then.